Last time we used the elbow push escape to demonstrate the concept of using a lever to escape a negative position on the bottom. In this video, I want to add on a little more detail. It's the same concept, same technique, but performed a bit differently. We have the same beginning as before. I have good alignment as I block the cross face. I'm going to be using this lever. He's driving his arm across, so I allow that movement and access the end of this lever, the elbow, that controls the shoulder. Here's where it gets a little bit different. This time, for whatever reason, I don't feel like I can get to base on my elbow. Maybe my timing was off, my opponent began stopping his arm movement. In any case, the frame that was allowing me to access the lever is no longer working for me. What I do instead is I'm still going to get to base and move my hips, but this time I'm going to post on my shoulder and mobilize my hips by doing a half granby. This allows me to replace this now underperforming frame with a much stronger one, my entire torso. So I base on my shoulder and do a half granby when I can't get to base on my elbow. I hope this additional detail is helpful for you, especially if you're a little person like me. I'm 108 pounds. No, I am not always going to get to my elbow. Sometimes I'm going to have to base on my shoulder and go for the half granby.